One of our most popular sensors is the LiDAR Light V3 from Garmin. Because of its popularity as a low-cost LiDAR unit, Garmin has created another slightly beefier version known as the LiDAR Light V3 HP. The two LiDAR units are quite similar. For example, they both have a resolution of 1 centimeter and an accuracy of plus or minus 2.5 centimeters at ranges greater than about 1 meter. They both work out to about 40 meters. However, the V3 HP can sample faster at rates over 1 kilohertz, whereas the V3 is limited to 500 hertz. Both can communicate over I2C, or pulse width modulation, and both need about 5 volts to operate. Another improvement is that the V3 HP model is more power efficient, with current consumption about 40 milliamps less than the V3. Both can operate in temperatures ranging from minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius, and they both rely on a 905 nanometer infrared laser that can peak up to about 1.3 watts. There's one more feature that makes the V3 HP slightly more expensive, and that's this slick looking case. Garmin has given the new V3 HP an IPX7 rated casing, which means the LiDAR unit itself is waterproof up to about 1 meter depth. If you're new to LiDAR, it's a great way to get range data at longer distances, and you can use it to calculate the speed of a moving object, like a car. If you'd like to learn more, check out my Adventures in Science video on LiDAR. In it, I show you how to calculate the distance from a LiDAR reading, as well as how a sweeping LiDAR unit can be used to map its surroundings. And for a more creative use of LiDAR, Nick Poole put together a set of assistive glasses that buzz louder as you look toward a nearby object. Nick tests his invention by walking through a maze of stools and breakable objects. It's worth a watch to see a fun, non-traditional use of LiDAR. LiDAR is a very powerful tool, especially in the field of robotics, where it can help your robot see what's around it. Garmin has made this technology very affordable for us to tinker and play with. Good luck and happy hacking.